Hello, I'm the Reverend Barb Ballinger, the Associate for Spiritual Formation and Care here at the Church of St. Martin in the Fields. And this week, it's my turn to share the video reflection from the Associate. And today, I want to talk about the 21-Day Racial Equity Habit Building Challenge. Now, when I first saw Facebook posts about this challenge, I have to say that I was a little skeptical because it sounded a bit like those ads over in the right-hand corner of the page that promise amazing results in just a few hours a day. And after 400 racist years that have included slavery and exploitation of black and brown people and entrenched systemic bigotries, what can change in 21 days, I thought. Well, in the current moment, I think it's clear that a lot can change, or at least begin, very quickly. The national outcry over the death of George Floyd at the hands of Minneapolis police at the end of May prompted an immense self-examination among many white people. And best of all, it has not stopped after 21 days. 21 days, according to conventional wisdom, is the time it takes to break a habit. But experience says that it takes much, much longer and many more tries. But it's not a bad investment in a beginning, in a new way of living and ending the habituated systems and practices that harm black and brown people requires a new set of habits among white people. Habits that include understanding, recognizing, speaking out against, and changing racist acts and structures. So the 21 day racial equity habit building challenge deserves some attention. It was developed and is trademarked by Dr. Eddie Moore Jr. of America and Moore LLC, which provides trainings on diversity and white privilege and leadership. And the challenge is simple. For 21 days, do one action to further your understanding of power, privilege, supremacy, oppression, and equity. The accompanying website, to which you'll find a link on our parish webpage, is filled with really great links and resources to help you get started. It's a way for white people to set the intention to look at, learn about, and live in a different way when it comes to race and racism. Invitations like the 21 Day Racial Equity Habit Building Challenge help us to get started or to go deeper or to get back on track in the work of racial repair. In the coming year, you'll also find opportunities both at St. Martin's and in the Diocese of Pennsylvania to strengthen this essential spiritual practice through education, liturgy, scripture study, and advocacy and action. For more information on the anti-racism work Becoming Beloved Community at St. Martin in the Fields, please feel free to contact me or one of the other Becoming Beloved Community co-chairs, Reverend Carol Duncan, our deacon, or Justina Barrett. Look for resources on the St. Martin in the Fields webpage. And thank you for all that you're doing to help us build beloved community at St. Martin's.